All right, I think this is all working today. <laughs> all right, let's see how this goes. Playing some more Final Fantasy XIV. I am, I'm actually really excited to get into this a little bit more. Um, I ended up going back and watching a couple more of the other um, kind of uh, cinematics and stuff uh, in the main menu. Kind of give a little bit more like to the story. Uh, not, not too much, but this kind of shows that how the world was destroyed by a giant dragon, and that's always fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I, logging in, I noticed there's a couple of things. I was able to get rid of my chat thing, but now I don't know how to bring it back. So <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, apparently, you can hide it, but I'm like, I'm not sure how to bring it back at all. Um, and then I noticed uh, up here, I just uh, clicked the button to get rid of it. But uh, there's actually a way to, uh, or as soon as you you sign in, it tells you um, some of the achievements you're getting close to doing. Um, so I go to approaching completion, letting me know that getting to level 10, uh, stick them with a pointy end. At first I thought it was something I, I completed, but I'm like, I don't remember completing it. Uh, but yeah, I get, um, I guess I'm really close to that. This tells me the, the last five I did. So I'm kind of excited to, to get this, you get achievement points. You, you, you guys, if you guys have seen any of my other videos. You guys know, I kind of like to get a, achievements and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited to see how that all goes. Uh, but yeah, we, we still have, uh, a mission, um, to return because we we killed those ladybugs uh last episode we helped uh that one princess uh get rescued we met that one guy that was really talkative we fought some creatures we saw a crystal uh, it was really interesting so i'm really really kind of excited to see where the story goes so let's well, i guess the next um story mission is uh, step nine is that you? Is that your mission? Okay, well, I mean, I think that's a story mission above your head anyway, so let's talk with you here. So, uh, step nine, yes. So I get some experience, some gill, and some uh, marmot steak for this. So, it uh, needs a reliable adventure to deliver a gift to the coffer uh, and coffin. Uh, beautiful name for a place there, so let's accept that. So you're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to replay, repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plum or plum plumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot part this place to procure the proper pro 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 the pumpkin. You see the scheduled shipment from the Narwa mines, for which I wait is late. I'll prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer. Uh, and Coffin, present the receipt to the purchase to uh, Gagari uh, at the Royal Plantations, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this uh, time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. All right. Yay. Mission accepted. Okay, so let's um, see where we're headed to. Well, we also got a mission here. Step nine. Oh, is that where we're going? Never mind. That's where we're supposed to go now. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's talk with them. Um, okay. Well, I mean, you have to go very far, but I guess if you're waiting for something. So, uh, so it doesn't come calling soon. This particular spectacular specimen uh, shall sadly be past its prime. Oh, well, let's give him uh, this item. Oh, so you're to deliver this uh, decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any uh, Gourmand would be grateful for such a grand gift. Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as much as we are always uh, deluded with demand. Oh, apparently my reading comprehension has just gone down like a million, million points today. Uh, <laughs> you know the way to the coffin, or coffer and coffin, correct? Is beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. All right, so let's uh, do that. Ooh, actually, there's a mission over here. Let's go do that one quickly. I want to try to try to do some of these. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember. Sprint is a thing I have to click on now. Is it done? Oh, it's done already. Okay. Never mind. Okay, where are we headed to? Where are we headed to? Um, that's the beetle one. I know that. Where is... Oh, up here. Step 9. Okay. I'm going to keep going this one. I'm, I'm sure we'll eventually hand in the beetle one. We need to eventually make it there again sometime soon. 
star marmot. Huge hornet! So many fun creatures. Gosh, I want to get a mount. So bad. I'm not sure what level you get a mount. Because as you guys know, I, I know I know next to nothing about uh, this game. Ooh. Uh, antling workers. Okay, you're not part of my thing anymore. Oh, there's actually a crystal there I can attune to too. That'd be good. There are some creatures I need to try to take in the uh, hunting log. So I'm looking for uh, earth sprites, uh, spriggan grave robbers, uh, quigran shell sweepers, uh, antling soldiers, and dusty mongrels. Okay. Any of you guys any of those things? Is antling worker on the list? Or was it antling? Oh, ant antling soldiers. Okay. Don't need the workers. I need the soldiers. All right. Well, let's attune to this. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> a shop? Can I buy a chocobo already? I mean, I probably can't afford it. Let's attune to this thing. Ding! Uh, Aetherite. By learning the spell teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between Aetherites. To which you are attuned. Access the teleportation menu by selecting teleport under travel in the main menu. Okay. Unlike other spells, teleport does not require MP to cast and instead uses a type of natural regenerating spiritual energy. A small fee of gill, however, must be paid to the keepers of the Aetherite so that they can maintain the crystals. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, so teleport. I can cast teleport. Okay, so I can go to the two different areas here. Okay, cool. Do do do. And I want to talk to... Person with a cho choco keeper, chocobo keeper. Um, if you come looking for to hire a chocobo porter, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Our birds are very fickle creatures and tend to become agitated around those with a certain lack of demeanor. Return once you've proven you can handle yourself. I will personally see that you're assigned our best bird. Oh, oh, I can hire them at level ten. Okay, a couple more levels, almost level nine. So getting there. And. So I tune with that. Well, I mean, I passed where I was supposed to go. That's okay. Let's uh, run there a little bit. Looks like it's going to be around this corner here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's in this building here. Oh, the coffin. And... Oh, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, that's right. Is it to say a different time? That's interesting. That's, uh, so I'm just gonna see here. Um, yeah, that's weird. It's it, so it said it's supposed to be at 8, well, 8 p.m. your time. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. There's something I can do to, do, 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 do to change that. So I'm just gonna quickly. See if I can do something to the stream here, guys. Sorry. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> Probably something that I, I, I clicked on. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, playing now. So, <laughs> hey, North Radness. <laughs> um, let's, uh, you want the pumpkin here. So drink for ya, laddie. Uh, you won't get better ale or spirits for your coin. Then at me place. Well, let's uh, hand over a pumpkin here. Uh, what's that? We uh, asked you to bring this here to me. Ha ha. So even that foul mouthed drunk knows the meaning or remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drunk sodden arse back home. <laughs> but hells, an honest to God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. Can't wait to see what the cooks cooks will do with her. You couldn't get into this game with your try. I'm having fun with it so far. Uh, the lads here scoff down uh, beastly amounts of mead, or meat, and it's starting to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies. Assuming I can get that stubborn bastard to try something new. Thanks, uh, thanks for the help, laddie. <laughs> All right, so we get some steak here, some gill, and some experience. So let's complete that. Yeah, level nine. One more level, and we get a chocobo. Or at least be able to rent chocobos and maybe not afford it. But either way, so we finished that up. Actually, how much? I've got like seven of these steak things. 
That gives me experience bonus of 3% for 30 minutes. Okay, so that's what that does. All right. Well, let's, uh... Roger needs uh, an extra hand to take orders. Oh, apparently I'm working as a... Taking orders now. Okay, those mentions. Interesting. Uh, you know, laddie, uh, I'm just uh, getting... Or just going to stand around with your thumb up yours. I can give you something to do. Uh, thanks to me, unbelievably low prices. We've no shortage of customers here at the Coffer and Coffin, but uh, but the same by the sa oh, but by the same token, I can't afford to hire much help. We're chronically understaffed. What's more, those lazy arse types that refuse to come and order at the counter. Uh, it'd be great help if you could attend those customers for me. Make their orders uh, on these slips, then bring them here. Oh, and don't forget about all elephants outside. What? <laughs> oh my gosh! I have to, I have to get orders from people. To I'm I'm a guardian with a sword, and you're like, nope, nope. You can you can be a waiter now. Uh, currently I chose a, a gladiator class. Uh, I will be switching probably to a paladin and stuff as soon as I can. But I know with um, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I was told that you could eventually play with any class as any character. So that's kind of, or every character can play as any class. So that's kind of cool. So maybe eventually I'll learn. I'll learn them all on uh, Luneth Dark Sphere here. But uh, yeah, I can see there being issues with subscription and stuff. It took me a while to kind of actually figure out how to do that. I'm currently playing through Steam, but like it took me forever to figure out how to like do it properly and I wanted to do it without like accidentally paying for a subscription for an account that I can't have access to or something like that but figured it out it took a while but uh yeah you have to do it through like um uh, a certain web page and stuff so but uh and with ESO ESO I can do it right through Steam I am playing Steam um Elder Scrolls Online uh, I'm playing it through Steam on the stream but I do own it for PS4 also so if you want to play PS4 that would be fun too. I have it. I have it on that. Actually, I have um, all the collector's editions for that, and I just pre-ordered the uh, the new collector's edition for PS4, and I'll eventually get it for PC too before it comes out. And hey, Miguel, how's it going? All right, what do we got going on? So let's um, talk with everyone here and take their orders. Um, Thal's balls. I'm spent. Grilled dodo, or grilled dodo, and a tankard of ale to wash it down. Gah, here I am again, spending what meager coin I have at the coffin. It ain't my fault, I tell ya. You'd do the same if your wife served up a shite every bleeding day. Uh, oh boy. Get that for your wife. I'm sure she tries really hard. Alright, so Richard here, what's up? Gods, I'm starving. Bring me ale, grilled doo-doo, uh, smoked shrew loaf, and make it quick. Business is good, too good even. I've nay got the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The mere thought of the coffers cooking makes my mouth water. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting hungry for some reason. I'm glad you can't complain, Miguel. <laughs> the strongest brandy wine you've got. I need help to forget. Okay, and you want some wine, and I gotta head outside to get someone else's order. Yours. Do do do. Uh, Roger's new errand boy, are ya? Well then, I'll keep it simple for your sake. A tankard of your finest ale, chilled with an ice shard. Ha <laughs> ha. There's nothing like a tall drink to help one forget about the trifling things in life. Like work. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Oh boy. Oh, Darth Rhinus, you don't have time to play MMOs? Kind of getting back into World of Tanks? Well, hey, I'd be, I'd be down to play some World of Tanks. I, I like I like me some tanks. As my girlfriend likes to tell me, I'm a bit of a treadhead. Uh, that's all the orders then. All right, so let's put these orders in. Uh, let's see here. Ale, uh, braid wine, grilled doo-doo, and for Elphus, let me guess. One tankard of ale, right bleeding, mister. That one. I had to put my boot up his arse. Any road, uh, you did good, laddie. Uh, by way of thanks, I'm going to tell you something. You ought to prove to your profit. All right, ooh, I get to pick something here. Mustard eggs or... A tin piece. Uh, changeable for gill. And that gives me an... Well, this is the exchangeable for gill one. Quest completed. Oh, boy. All right. There's an exciting proposition for adventurers looking for work. Is it more more taking orders? Do I have to live with the orders? Is that it? Word is, black brush stations sorely undermanned. A stone torches 
Uh, the storm torches there can't get a moment's peace. It didn't help none that the antlings have been multiplying like nobody's business. For every critter Warren at his crew put down, uh, two more of the old buggers spawn in its place. I was thinking, mayhap you can make yourself useful at the station by calling some things, uh, some antlings. I don't doubt Warren would appreciate the help. And if you win his trust, he's like, uh, he's like to give uh, more work for ye. Mind ye, you'll need, <laughs> you'll need uh, to show the man proof of your deeds. Five or so antling mandibles ought to do it. Uh, do the talking for ye. All right, so got to go kill some uh, antlings. Antlings. Ooh, maybe there's some soldiers here I can get. Oh, you're doing a bunch of grinding there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember which take I've been using mostly. Yeah, but if you can calm that up, let's take down the one more thing. Okay, did that get me what I needed? Oh, did get my mandible there. Oh, I should actually Gotta remember, I can't just randomly click the attack because it makes that noise it's so annoying. I gotta try to find a way to maybe get rid of. All right, that's two mandibles. I'm excited to see how the dungeons and the um, things like that work uh, later on in this game. I hear they're pretty good. Also, here like they've done like crossovers with uh, Nier Automata and Final Fantasy uh, 15 and stuff. So I'm excited to see. Whoa. Get out of the way of that. There we go. How many more do I need? Just one more. Just one more. Oh. I'm looking for soldiers. That's what I need. Take that one. Oh, I didn't even have to take that attack to the face. There we go. Finish the mandibles. Let's go drop off this. Ha ha. Oh, this is solid. All right. Actually, I think you are merchant and mender. Let's talk with you and see if um repair gear. Uh, sure. Let's repair all. Cost me 14 gil. Let's see if I can sell some of this stuff. Um, purchase weapons. Can I sell stuff? Potion, I want to keep that. Oh, let's um, sell that item. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to keep everything else because I don't know what's going to be useful or not, but that literally says it just can be sold. So let's, let's sell that. Anything I can get weapon-wise that's stronger than I have. Oh, Recept, um, how is this compared to Star Wars? Uh, I'm still kind of learning how this all works. It feels... Uh, combat feels very similar, um, but story-wise, a little bit more, I mean, not into the story so much. There's quests everywhere. There's a lot more to do, it feels like. Like, there's a lot, like, I got a hunter log uh, to go through and try to get experience. Um, got tons and tons of side missions uh, you can do. There's housing, which is really cool, which I guess they kind of have in Star Wars with the uh, stronghold. So it kind of feels a little, 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 um... A little similar to Star Wars, actually. No, no, come to think of it, it kind of is. Uh, let's see, do I want a weapon here, though? Um, how is that compared to what I currently have? Uh, I currently have a physical damage five. Viking sword gives me seven. Strength plus one. You know what? I'm just going to buy a sword. I want a new weapon. That's what I want. And that'll go to... Uh, my armory chest, I believe. Yes. Now I can equip that. Haha. -ha. Can I not equip? Can't change gear now. What? Why? There we go. Apparently I couldn't equip, change gear while I was talking to him. Okay, now I got like what looks like a better sword. That's gonna. Yeah, that one's a little bit short and stubby. There we go. Nice, nice long sword there. I like that. And Miguel, you're playing some ESO? That's good. Yes, that was fun. I was a bit in between. Uh, I was. I was really trying to decide what I was going to play, and I came down to Final Fantasy XIV because I just wanted to see where it was going. 
kind of excited to see it. Um, but let's see. I don't want to buy back anything. I want a new. I want to see if I can get a hat. Um, hot helmet. That's plus twelve, plus nine. Yeah, you know what? Let's um, we can try it on. Nope. No, I don't want to zoom in. The... Okay, that's a little weird. Is there a way to zoom in on the head a little bit better? That's ah, okay. Uh, let's... What's a pot helm look like? Plus nine. Yeah, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Sure. Spend a little bit of money. You gotta spend money to make money, right? Alright, so let's... How do I equip it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I at least have something to protect my head. Now, now I look more like an adventurer. Ooh, I like your shield there. It's kind of glowy. Okay, so Warren, let's talk with you. So what? You say you put down some antlings? You are scarce the first to come here and make that claim. Hope you earn, hoping to earn quick coin. Unless you have proof of the feat, uh, you'll not see a gill from me. Well, let's give him the mandibles here. Look. Uh, Thal's balls. Those are antling mandibles. Then it's true. You really called the beast. I apologize for doubting your words. Well, Uldad, with Uldad nearby, you'd think uh, we were out of harm's way. The truth is, the antlings have been more active than ever. Uh, you can never be too, or you can never have too many able-bodied adventurers to help preserve the peace in the area. If you will lend us the aid, I shall gladly assign you a task. Gods know we have no shortage of them here. All right, so. Oh, we got to pick one here. Uh, wristbands. Let's see here. Strength or intelligence? I want more strength. Or I could just have that to sell stuff. You know, let's grab the armband. You've now accepted... Oh, something about the next class quest? Ooh, I hit level 10. Yeah! Oh, I can do my next class quest. Okay. Uh, so I got shield bash now. I should get a shield then. Uh, we got iron will ability here. Uh, what does that do? Significantly increases uh, enemy generation. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. Uh, but maybe I should see if I can buy a shield from the armorer. You sell shields? Oh, maybe that's a weapon. I guess that would technically be a weapon, right? Weapons! Yay, I can buy a maple... Square maple shield. Sure, let's buy that shield. Equip that shield. Uh, let's go to do, 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 do. offhand shield. Equip. Ha ha! Now I've got a shield, and I got a brace thing. Well, that replaces that. Okay, so it's plus one strength, and you are you are much better. Why did I pick that? Oh well. Oh, wells. All right, yep, now we got a shield. Kind of excited to see how that goes. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that means. So, so many things I don't know about this game. I'm kind of excited to learn, though. All right, so Gladiator Oath Gauge Unlocked. Okay, the symbol indicates the defensive stance. Iron Will is an effect which increases uh, enmity. Uh, you can view the job gauge description at any time from the actions and traits menu. All right, so if I turn that on... What does enemy do? Um, all right. Oh, that just puts my thing together. Okay, let's go to my character for a second. Bloop, 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 bloop. Abilities. Is it here somewhere? Profile. Nope. Job class. Nope. Okay. I'm not sure what that actually does. character here. Um, I did get an achievement, though. I got uh, achievement gladiator, or chief gladiator level 10. Okay, so that's always going to be there. Is there a way to move that? I want to go to... Oh, HUD layout. Oh, I can move that. Okay. Um, I'm going to put that down here, just for now, just so it's kind of tucked out of the way. Uh, cancel. Let's save. There we go. Just so it's, just so it's tucked out of the way. A little bit more pre presentable. Okay, so let's talk to Warren here again. 
So, Warren wishes to inspect your equipment before he will set you to task. Oh, maybe he was going to give me a bunch of items. Uh, oh, he's going to give me... Is that a shield? Yeah. Oh, oh well, I bought a shield anyways. Uh, so, accept that. So, we stone torches. Our cell swords, swords hired by Amjan and Sons. Uh, mineral concern to protect its interest. Our primary duty here is to keep tr uh, the tracks clear of pests. And it is for this purpose we require your aid. You have proven that you can have some skill with arms, but before you, I send you into the midst of fell fiends, I'll inspect your gear. A single piece of gear can be the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that I set an ill-equipped adventure to an ultimately to an untimely demise. Uh, see to it that your arms and armor are in order. When you're ready, present yourself to me again. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level five or above before returning to them. Okay. Learn about gear here. All right. What is the level of all my gear here? That is level eight, level five, level one, level one, level one. Okay. So I need to get some better. Uh, nope. So I need purchase battle gear. I need. Better uh, feet. So let's see here. I remember spending a bunch of money. So I'm gonna make sure I don't spend too much. Let's grab a chest piece. Do I have level five? So I need gloves, legs, and feet. Okay. Let's grab. Yeah, let's grab this nice pair of legs or that. Grab a nice pair of legs here. Want something for Disciples of War. That's currently what I am. Let's grab. Yeah, that'll give me more armor. And then gloves. A fingerless leather gloves. No, thank you. Um, all classes. Disciples of War here. Let's get some leather mitts. There we go. So let's equip our uh, stuff here. Equip and equip and equip. There we go. Now we're starting to starting to look the adventuring type. Oh, so that oh that must be the dye color. I was like, what is this like? Because it's got a red thing here. Um, control key displays. Okay. That does a thing. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, Mr. Savage. How is it going today? <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing oven mitts. Or hockey gloves. There we go. Looks like I'm wearing hockey gloves. I like that. I like it. Let's talk with you again. So, so we ready for inspection? Good. Everything appears to be in order. Uh, yet know that not is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventurers like you are few and far between. I will, I would not have you throw your life away. Uh, I have had to bury too many comrades of who brushed aside cracks in their uh, herbergs and dings in their helmets. No matter what you face, uh, I do not disregard the importance of gear. All right, so gear is important. I'm going to grab that shield. New shield. I keep I keep getting inventory to go to my shield. Uh, that's not way to do it. What is the hotkey for? Oh, control I. Okay. Let's go back to shield. That is currently better than I currently have. And look so. Oh, look at that round shield. Looks better. There we go. All right, Miguel, have a good dinner. Hopefully, it is awesome and amazing. All right. So Warren has work for an adventurer willing to exterminate. The Koblins attacking the ore wagons. Okay. So let's get on with it, shall we? Ore wagons pass through this station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through a tunnel by Fesca's Wrath Watch. <laughs> Wrath Watch. A tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse, creating ideal conditions for a uh, Koblin next nest. So the ore loving beasts have taken up residence in a tunnel we dug, and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. 
but no more. Inside the tunnel in question, you will find a narrow fissure where the koblins hide. Use this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures, then slay them. Will do, will do. The key items can be used on targets by right-clicking on them. Okay, cool. And key items go to my one part of my chest. Let's see where we're headed to for this mission. Where are we headed to? Okay, so let's go on the map here. Oh, down there. Which is right around there. Okay, cool. Actually, it shows up on my mini-map here. You gotta pay attention to that. Aha, uh -huh, now I feel like an adventurer. I gotta figure out what that enemy is. That's what I gotta figure out. Okay, let's get back to character here for a moment. Uh, duty? No. Maybe it's in journal somewhere. Nope, okay. It's in this tunnel. Party travel log, social. Hmm. <laughs> oh, actions and traits. Maybe it'll be in there. Tank mastery? No. Journal, timers, key items, logs. Stance char character. Roll, performance. Okay. Yeah, I actually don't know. Cool. I'll have to figure that out later. Narrow fissure. Let's uh, use a silver ore, ore cluster here. Bring out these creatures. Ooh. Oh boy. Those were not exactly what I was expecting. There we go, we got one. Oh, another one popped up. I'm only level four, so I can, I can handle them. Oh. Your ability. That will come in. There we go. Is that all of them? It is all of them. Excellent. Victory is mine. Okay, let's return to Warren. This one, this game actually is pretty nice looking. Look at the giant tortoise. Someday. I'm gonna take it down. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is the fattest little chocobo ever. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Now now I want a chocobo for myself. Oh, I'm level 10 now. I might be able to actually... Uh, ride. Oh, it's talk to Warren, though. So, well done. It shan't be easy work to keep the tunnel free of goblins, but our wagon should be able to go unmolested for a time. Disruption to ore shipments threaten not only interests of uh, the mining concern, but to old Aya, it's herself. One might liken these train tracks to veins that bear our nation's lifeblood. If only we had more li men like you to lend a hand. All right, so let's see here. Let's grab a new necklace here. It gives me extra strength, sure. Extra strength. Let's equip it while I can. What does that one do? This one gives me... This one's better than what I currently have. Am I crazy? That gives me plus one strength, vitality, mind, dexterity, intelligence, and piety. This one just gives me extra strength and dexterity. Huh. Oh, well. All right, let's talk with you again. <laughs> All right, so Warren needs you to help solve a mystery. Let's uh, solve this mystery. Shall we? Ah, uh, Luneth, I dare say you are the right man to solve this mystery. Someone or something has been littering the tracks with pieces of silver ore. Even a tiny chunk can send a wagon off its course. So I've done, uh, so I've had to devote significant manpower to locating and clearing these obstacles. We can't keep this up forever though. I need you to find the culprits and put it into their mischief. Search for any piece of pop marked uh, silver ore on the tracks and if you're lucky, you'll catch the bastards before they escape. Okay, so let's try to do that. All right, so... Oh, here it is. Popmark Silver Ore. Ooh, that's a huge chunk of Silver Ore. That's not tiny at all. All right, let's uh, get it off the track here. 
Interacting. Oh, what? Are you? Friggin' Are you? Chumbler, so it's friggin' Chumbler here. Ha! Victory is mine. Okay. I have to do four of them. Interesting. Okay, I'm open my map for a moment. So I got one down here. Oh, all around here. Okay, so let's sprint. Sprint up the tracks here. Might as well just follow the tracks. There's one there. And are they what's in my hunting log? Because that would be extra awesome. Nope, I need to spring gray robber. Okay, so let's use this. Oh, hey, Chris. Oh, I'm glad you could catch me live, too. Oh, and don't worry if you happen to not hit the like button. It's not it's not the it's not the end of the world. Don't worry. I'm just I'm just glad you're enjoying the videos. That's the part that matters to me. That's the important part. So thank you. Thank you, Chris. That's awesome. I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying all the videos. Hopefully you like the Final Fantasy ones, but uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of having fun getting into this a little bit. Shield bash here. Get out of that. I don't get hit. They, they look really. The, the, the enemy design of this game is actually really interesting. Like, that thing looks really cool. It'd be kind of creepy to run into in the middle of the night, though. I mean, with it just being all black and just like the eyes and the, the mouth there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna take this out because I can. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of all my abilities being on one kind of cooldown thing yet. All right. Oh, yeah, I got, whoop, got a this ability. And then that one. I mean, I guess I got an auto attack that plays in between, so. Not good. Time to return to Warren. I can sprint again, kid. Hey, sprinting. So I really wish sprinting was like, uh, like Star Wars, where you could sprint constantly instead of just a little bit at a time. All right. Warren, what's up? So the Springers were, were responsible. Little critters gnaw an oar as a hound on a bone. The rocks on the track were their, their God's damn leftovers. Uh, some super, superstitious miners believe the Springers are harbingers of fortune, but uh, but my reckon the creatures are not but more than pests like goblins. As far as I'm concerned, there's no better omen for uh, Amagen the Sens than you. Ever since you began helping out the station, our operations have been running without so much of a single hiccup. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Ooh, we get a staff. A oh, that's for a black mage, a monk, or a sword here. Is that? I don't think that Viking swords. Oh, I have a Viking sword already. That's why. So I'm gonna take this item. Quest completed. All right, where do we gotta go to next? Oh, I don't have. Way down the hole, kicking the hornet's nest. Okay, where's that? Well, let's just. I'm just gonna head back. To. If I can teleport here. Wait, what? How much does that cost? 176. Oh, well, let's just do it. I don't care. Not too too worried. Ooh, actually. Oh, I guess I did it anyway. <laughs> I was like, ooh, never mind. I was gonna do. Uh, I was gonna see if I could get a mount, but that just works. Oh, hey, Miguel, welcome back. I killed some things on a track, got some new armor. Things, things are looking... I got, I got a new shield, got a new sword, got some hockey gloves I get to wear. I'm looking, looking more and more like an adventure. And I got this... I don't know what this is. Iron Will. It uh, increases my enmity uh, generation. And I'm not quite sure what that is. 
That's okay. Uh, where are we headed here? We are going south here. Okay, so let's sprint. Oh, this is not the right one. That's not the one I want to go to. I want to go to the gladiator one. So let's head around here. And then I gotta figure out where the main mission is. Oh! <laughs> I was probably right beside it. Oh well. That's okay. What am I doing currency wise? Character. Currency I have. A loading screen. Alright, uh, let's see. I, oh, I got 400. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's head into here and let them know that I dropped off. Uh, back in one piece, are you? It's about bloody time. Admit, you, you look as though you just picked up a sword yesterday, but you handled yourself well enough. I'll give you that. And here, I'll give you this as well. Ain't worth a knight in Oldell's finest pillow house, but I'm sure they'll find a use for it. Oh, a new pair of gloves that I don't want to use. So I'm going to grab this one so I can sell it. Alright. And you've got a new class mission for me. So let's talk with the guildmaster. So first sword, uh, Mila wishes to teach you the fundamentals of the gladiator arts. Oh, okay. And, ooh. I'll at least be able to get a um, uh, set of armor I can use. So let's accept that. Ah, Luna. Uh, I take it... Uh, you and your sword have become better acquainted then. Uh, then I will now instruct you another fundamental aspect of what it means to be a gladiator. Commanding an opponent's intention. Ooh, this is actually this is gonna be good. As gladiators, we are training are trained to engage enemies at close range, weathering their attacks as we deliver our own. However, there are times when we must do battle alongside allies whose talents are not the same as our own. In such a situation, your role is not to slay the enemy in front of you, but rather defend the man beside you. Uh, we do this by in, uh, incising uh, the an <laughs> enmity of our opponents through attacks and techniques designed to incite their hatred. Okay, so it's it's a threat threat level. Okay, you must learn to draw the enemy's attention to yourself. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and trust in your uh, stout con constitution to endure. In so doing, you protect the weaker comrades with whom other whom. Who would otherwise perish? To help you better understand this, there is a task I would have you perform. It just happens that uh, Mamandi of Quicksand has requested our assistance. A gang of marauders has parade into town and began harassing people outside her establishment. Uh, men like these prey on the weak, but uh, will turn tail and flee in the first side of defiance. You need not resort yourself to, vi to violence. It will suffice you show them that you're not afraid of them uh, and will not tolerate their behavior. Seek out uh, them and make your presence known by bellowing, Face me, Marauder. In this way, you will protect the people of Ulda as you would your allies in battle. Okay, let's go do that. Face me, you fools. All right, where exactly is that one, though? Okay, so it's outside. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Alright, okay, there it is. I guess I could have teleported there, but that's okay. I returned to the one. Does it tell me which one? I have returned, or I actually have selected as my return. It doesn't. Okay. Man, I'm already level 11? That's actually pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. What is the max level of this game? That I don't know. Ooh, hearts everywhere. Oh, maybe for Valentine's Day. Which is coming up. Alright, let's find some of these marauders here. Oh. Oh. All right, those you want. This don't concern you, so bugger off. Okay, how do I use? Do I have that ability? Oh, oh, do I not have the ability I need for this? Uh, actions and traits. Roll. 
actions. What am I supposed to do here? Do, 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 do. Oh, um. To face slash me. Is that, do I just type it in? Oh, you know your friend's ears at 12 damn cheap. Uh, thinks he can uh, charge us more because we're foreigners, but uh, but I'll work is our own back. Mark my words. Oh, okay. Okay, so I do just have to do that. Okay, is that how you do it in like dungeons and stuff? You don't know? Yeah, it must be pretty high if I'm already 11. Uh, slash me. All right. What, you blaming me because this little... Uh, shite shat in his own pants? Well, bugger. Bugger him and bugger you too. Alright, that's two of them gone. Let's find the next one. He's running around in circles. He's running around in Oh, there's one. Uh, slash me. Ha! Huh. You looking at me, punk? Oi! Uh, come on now. He was this disrespecting me, proud sea wolf. Heritage. Ah, fine, I'll leave uh, the bastard be, but we ain't finished. I'm um, clearly going to be fighting these guys eventually someday. And one up here in the corner. Mocking Marauder. Uh, the L's is you problem. Maybe she likes him, men rough. Ooh, uh, what are you supposed to be? A bleeding manservant? Bah, it don't matter. You've gone and spoiled the mood. Oh, that was not cool. All right. Oh, now I gotta go inside. This guy wait over here. What do you want, punk? All right. This guy's got a name, so maybe he won't. Oh. Just who the hell's you think you're speaking to, Megat? I'm Pothmer, uh, the Driven. And me and the Bloody Marauders been raving so long, mothers scare their children with tales of us. Don't believe me words? Then I'll let my axe do the explaining. Uh oh. Oh, this lively event for the quickstand? You two gonna pull out a show for us? What's this? Another god's damn fool? Show some respect when you're talking to. Uh, pull more the Driven. Leader of a troop of bloody uh, murmurs or some such. Aye, I heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Uh, then unless you want me to split your skull with me axe, you better... Oh, that's a nice fancy sword. Hey, Sea Waffles! Th that sword, it, it couldn't be. Frenzy. But only the sword of Nald would... Bloody hells, it's you! You know, I've never wanted to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? B -b begging your pardon, sir. Why do they always do that? Huh. Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up to them, Lamansan, is quite brave of you, and quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldis, and I'd buy you a drink, but I'm afraid I've spent my last coin. I used to be a young Gladiator like you. Back then, I, uh... I, uh, but that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored, a seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like the beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm right now. Gods, I've missed this city, this wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. Do -do -do. Yeah, that guy did, uh, that guy just kind of ran away. Not, not afraid of this guy's sword. 
I'm sure that's a character we will learn more about later on. Ooh. Let's speak with you again. How's it going? I haven't talked with you for forever. I swear, if I hadn't seen Aldous with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Uh, believed it was him. Everything here thought he died years ago. Listen, Luneth, do me a favor and don't tell Milan about meeting Aldous, all right? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Why? Well, let's just say folk ain't good for one another. All right, so let's uh, head back. Let's see what's going on. And now how are things with you, Sea Waffles? Hopefully everything is going all right. Can I go this way? I think I can go this way. I like the music. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Probably magical, Miguel. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. I could see him being probably a magical, awesome sword. Still trying to learn my way around this place. Yeah, I think this has to be the right way. So I have to go in there. Okay. Nope, that's not the right way. I'm so lost already. Oh my gosh, this game. It's like a maze. Oh, maybe I should follow this sign. The Coliseum, that's where I was heading to. Okay, just turn the wrong way a little bit. All right, and here. And now I get a new piece of armor. I'm okay with that. All right, I've already heard your exploits at the quitsand, Lunit. You did well to send those marauders packing. I wish I could say we've heard the last of them. Alas, we've received reports of axe-wielding raiders assaulting merchants traveling through Scorpion Crossing. It seems words will not suffice after all. I want you to finish what you begun, Luneth. Head to Western uh, Thanlan and see that the Driven and all those uh, who have shared in his crimes never trouble the people of Ulda again. Oh, I don't get I don't get the sword yet. Oh, that's not cool. I want it now. Okay, now we got to head to head out there. Okay, out this way. Uh, still gonna head out this way. Yeah, this game looks really confusing, and uh, you mainly play MMOs and RPGs. Yeah, it's it's not so bad. Um, like it's, I, I've been learning slowly. Again, this is only like I'm only a couple hours in. And the other thing, it it doesn't really explain things really well. I think that's the main part, or at least I haven't done some tutorial missions. Like I've somehow skipped some tutorial stuff. Like um, I got, like I'm doing a kind of a tank class right now, a guardian. And yeah, the map is really confusing. But I got this ability, um, this Iron Will ability, which gives um, increases uh, enmity. And I didn't know what enmity was until uh, it. Uh, I did this side mission to kind of let me know that that has to do with tanking. So kind of gave me an ability without telling me what the ability was. That's okay. But let's uh, head out here and figure out What's going on? Oh, right out here. Level five, kick in the hornet's nest. Okay. A nervous merchant. What's going on? Uh, they, they tore me from my saddle and took everything I own. Bring my goods back to me. I beg of you. Okay. Oh, there's some items there. But uh, slowly learning. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. Caravan sack. Let's grab this sack. Is the marauder going to pop out? Oh, there we go. It's kind of assumed that was going to happen. Little shield dash here. There we go. I win. Oh. Let's grab this sack here. Oh, this is the the guy I was talking to out there. I get to show him who's boss here. His axe got nothing on me. I'm 
Not with my awesome sword and new shield. There we go. And you're dead now. You're dead. Alright, let's head inside. Or uh, give the merchant back his stuff. Sprint. Running, 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 running. Gosh, I don't want to mount. Maybe there's a mount thing in here. Alright, let's talk with the nervous merchant. They they tore me from my saddle and took... Oh, I already did. I already said that. Let's hand over them. Twelves bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for good men like you, I'd never leave home. Oh, yay. I did a good thing. Okay. Well, let's report back. Yeah, the... Uh the sounds of Battle Miguel are actually really good in this game. The, the audio in this game in general is awesome. The music's good. I wish there was more voice acting so you guys didn't hear me mispronounce and re misread everything. But uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I am a Final Fantasy fan, so it's right up my alley. Grass blade, little ladybugs. The sprint things. Yeah, mounts are, mounts are too important. Uh, but, uh, I gotta figure out exactly how to get him out in this game. I hit level 10 and it said I can, um, hire one, so I don't know if I actually get to keep it at that point. I'm not sure exactly how mounts work. Something I need to figure out soon enough. So let's head into the Coliseum here, now that I know where the Coliseum is. The steps of Thal. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get in here. And. Tuck to. Milan. So, good. It is finished. And with that, this stage of your training is complete. This time, your enemies were ill behaved ruffians, but who knows what manner of opponents you'll face in the future. Regardless, I have faith that you will do well, master your sword, and you shall master yourself. Now then, there'll be work for you in the days to come. Return not to your training, Luneth. We will speak again. All right, so I'm gonna grab that chest piece because it's better than I currently have. I'm gonna do a sword that's not quite as good. That's okay. Untradable items. Oh, you have obtained, uh, obtained an untradable item, so it's like a bound item. Okay, cool. So I can't trade it at all. That's okay, I'm gonna equip it. Um. Armory chest. I do like the armory chest thing. This is really, really good. All right, so let's equip that. Unique items. You obtain a unique item. This item is special. You can never possess more than one at a time. Oh, is that uh, unique, untradable? Okay. Oh, definitely looks like I'm wearing armor now. Okay, good. Starting to look like a gladiator. There we go. Alright, and oh, you got another another quest mission for me. So I think that was like my level 5 or level 8 um, uh, class quest, but now I've got uh, I hit level 10, so I get it's popped up saying I got another one. So uh, I get a. What is this? Is that a sword? I'm not sure exactly what that is. A, and a shield. And then some options here. Okay, so uh, first sword, Malaya requires your immediate assistance for with a dangerous matter. Um, you look well, Luneth. I hope you're ready for the, your next cast because I require your immediate assistance. There have been several violent murders recently, the victims of which were all Hyruian men. Ooh, that's not good. Based on the multiple spear wounds found upon their bodies of the deceased, we believe that lancers are responsible for the crimes. Not only are these uh, murders a blight upon our city, I fear it is only a matter of time before one of our own is targeted. I have just received reports of foreign lancers skulking uh, around the stone's throw. Considering the circumstances, I find it likely that these are our culprits. We cannot abide any more murders. Go to stone's throw outside the gate of Nald and speak with any uh, you find there. With luck, we will find these lancers before they strike again. Ooh. Let's go out and find some lancers. Okay, I'm going to look at the map here quickly just to make sure I know exactly where I'm going. All right, good. That's where I want to go anyways. Um, you know what? How am I doing fund-wise? Ah, all the I got to learn, relearn all my 
Buttons here. I don't have a lot. Oh, well, I'm going to return anyway. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can just return there. Oh, no. Uh, let's just teleport. Actually, if I return to it, if I can return to it for free, but I think, yeah, this is the one that's in Ulda, so I actually didn't teleport too far. But that's okay. Can I click on that? Um, register. Oh no. Ethernet. Uh, nope. Okay, don't want to do that. Register favorite destination. Register free destination. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's just let's just do a teleport then to the central area. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, I think that's he's got that weapon I'm about to get. Gotta remember. Okay, so I'm actually gonna tune this to be my set as my home point. Maybe it's not the smartest thing to do, but oh, I'm gonna talk to you and sell some stuff. Let's sell these. Sell. Um. I'm going to keep all the crafting materials and stuff because I don't know what I'm going to need for those later. Oh, can I sell uh, armor chest? I can sell my swords. Yes, I want to sell it. I don't care. What I currently have is better, so why would I not want to sell it? Sell. Sell. Ha <laughs> ha. Making a little bit of money. I made a whole one gill from that. Oh my gosh, I'm selling these for nothing. I'm going to keep these two. Because you're a higher level, technically a higher level than what I currently have equipped. I'm just not sure why they are better. Okay, and then we're going to... Oh, so you guys are going to give me the the side mission. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm just going to get it from you guys. So, uh, Zuzi Mita uh, wishes to share with you a most amazing rumor. Excellent. I like rumors. Um, ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears. And I'm eager to share it with you. Or share it. May I? A rumor has it that there is a vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Silda. But that is not all. Inconceivably, uh, the concern appears to be uh, entirely uh, ignorant to its ex uh, the, con uh, the concern entirely ignorant to its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is uh, Waston. And he is very, very ambitious, young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to curry favor with the Sactarium. Of course, the Thermomigrantes only consider the options of the most wealthy um, when drafting the laws of Ulda. Uh, if you would... Uh, if you would have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a sultan's ransom. One voice, which is inevitably heard, belongs to Lord Lulurito, uh, who has long lavished guild upon the I'm guessing the leaders, and some claim that he devises new laws with the express intention of ruling, uh, ruining his competitors while protecting his own interest. Suffice it to say, if Oyston thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he is in for a rude awakening, but that eventually may yet, that eventuality may uh, yet be a little way off. Uh, for the present, he is moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I'm told he's at the coffer and coin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Uh, Warren says you were willing to, uh, you were looking for work. Mayhap you should meet Waston and volunteer for his expedition. Okay, I can do that. Uh, but first, I want to talk to a chocobo keep. Ooh, Wilmet Traveler, might I interest you in a chocobo partner? 
Uh, a chocobo porter? Yes, 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 yes. Ah, do tell me. This is your first visit to the shop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in the future. Uh, learn about them. Uh, not enough guild to pay the bloody Aetherite teleportation fee? Or perhaps you simply want to ride in peace, uh, not having to worry about fumbling through your maps or dodging bloodthirsty beasts. There are chocobo porter, or then a chocobo porter is exactly what you need. Our birds will carry, carry you quickly and safely to one of many convenient destinations for merely a small handful of coin. Uh, we only ask that you observe, observe two simple rules. Firstly, should you dismount while en route, you will not be able to remount. The chocobo will continue to its destination, leaving you to fend for yourself. Secondly, though each stop has a full list of accessible destinations, we will only authorize travel to those with which you have visited at least once before. This is to ensure that on the off chance that one of our birds become disoriented and loses his way, uh, you will be able to guide him back on course. Rest assured, however, this will never happen. Uh, this has never happened once in our many years of service. Our birds are trained to travel specific courses and they never deviate from them. Uh, they have also been bred for speed and will avoid uh, outside threats to the best of their ability. In fact, we are so certain of our capacity to deliver you unharmed to your final destination. Should be, you'd be attacked while riding a chocobo parter, we will refund your uh, rental fee in full. Allow me to show you uh, to your bird right now. Or right this way, my lord. Ooh. So I can travel from one place to another. Um... Oh, and it takes a little bit of time so I can travel to Uldal right now. Not going to, but something I can do. Cool. Uh, porters. So again, it, it's um, travel from point A to point B. I like that. I'm going to head down here. I got two hits down the hole and search for the freelance ones. Where are those guys again? They're further south. So I'm going to go talk to uh, uh, Waste in here. Uh, I'm going to run a little bit here. Fate discovered nearby. What is this fate? Viver rats. Let's see if we can do this fate first then. Fate joined. What do I need to do? Um, let the camp to search. The brass blades are bent on seeing the Beastmaster as a failure. Aid. Oh, I think it's behind here maybe. Uh, no, directly. Okay, so I need to. Oh, here we go. Let's go help out. Why not? There we go. I am helping. Creatures down. <laughs> Fate completed. Ooh, leveled up. Level 12 now. Uh, I learned uh, low blow. So, it stuns targets. Okay, good. Ooh, I can stun targets now. I'm going to actually put you up here. And I'm going to actually put these guys up here. I might actually move that bar a little bit later. But, yep. Did a fate. Oh, hey, Shamals. Uh, Rad, you've been uh, binging the Sis Assassin place through. Love the content and channel. Uh, content and channel. Decided to share some nice words. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you are enjoying uh, the Sis Assassin Let's Play. It's been, a, it's been a ton of fun. I'm really excited to see um, how kind of like a Jedi kind of uh, is a little bit different than it. Also, I apologize if you guys can hear uh, some buzzing and stuff. The uh, uh, neighbor above is um, vacuuming, but that's okay. They're allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, Miguel, I just fulfilled my destiny. Uh, come to join. Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered, and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. Uh, there are these children outside, uh, little ones from Stone Shrill. I look after them um, when I've time to spare, and so they've taken to follow me, me around even when I tell them not to. But what? With overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy uh, at the moment, much less entertain younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? 
Oh, okay. Let's um go give some kids some cookies. Some some really like random quests. Like, and this is like main story quests. I'm giving kids cookies, and I was a waiter here for a while. This is it's just interesting and crazy. I love it. All right. I like playing with Winston. Uh, he makes sure no one bullies us. Well, have a cookie. Uh, uh, Winston's worried about or worried about us. Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl. I'll go home. Okay, go home. Here's your cookie for you. Winston's kind to us. I like him. All right, this is for me. I want to eat it, but then again, I don't because then it'd be gone. Uh, tell Winston thanks, and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Oh, But yeah, I get I get that feeling, kid. Sometimes you don't want to eat your cookies, because then they'd be gone. Um, so, but Winston's uh, always plays with us. Why won't he come up and play? Uh, wow, a ginger cookie. I'd better save some for my brother. I know. I'll go home and eat it with him. Okay, bye-bye. And the starving child. I ain't going nowhere, mister. I'm too hungry to move. Besides... Uh, besides, so you'll have to carry me. I'll give you a cookie, then you won't be hungry. Uh, a cookie? Well, if Winston really wants me to go home, then all right. But I won't want to next time. All right. Let's head inside. You couldn't have done that yourself. You've literally been standing here the whole time. Thank you, adventurer. I wish I could do more. Stone's throw is no place for a child. Not that my childhood is, was much happier. Never enough food to go around, nor work to earn it. But no shortage of contempt for the great uh, and the good. I remember thinking sh uh, things could only get better. Yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees uh, to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen, this is, is a disgrace. Uh, they say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refu refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. Mining companies can uh, have profited from our suffering for too long, but in their hubris, they've grown complacent, uh, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take it, adventurer. We will reclaim, reclaim our dignity and with it our place within the, those walls. Uh-oh. We found her. We found the vein, Winston. Uh, you must come and see. Already? Amazing. We leave at once. You should join me, friend. Come and bear witness to the history in the making. Yay! Let's go see how this works. Let's go to the vein. Uh, we're going this way and this way. Um, let's go down the hole first. Sprinting. Running, 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 running. Oh, I wish Sprint. I could say it a million times, but I wish Sprint didn't go away. Okay, so... Am I heading the right way? I must be heading down there. Now, is there a way to head down there? Not falling on my butt. Oh, okay, there is. Good. I'm going to take fall damage in this game. Ooh, I need some these Grey Brovers. They are part of my hunting thing, because um, it's got that little symbol above their head. Let's deal with you guys. Wah! Take that. There's one down. And, oh, I got that. That cloud involved in combat. I'm not quite sure how you kill a bunch of a cloud of creatures with uh, chosen. Stun you a little bit. Actually, it's a low blow. <laughs> you kicked them. I like that. That's actually pretty awesome. All right, hunting log finished. Oh, is this? This looks like another instance here. I think that's what that means when they're glowing like that. All right, duty calls. Um, commence battle for way down in the hole. Level sync is in effect. If you're above the maximum level allowed level, uh, it will be synced as follows. Oh, level 13, okay. So what am I actually gonna do? 
Ah, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. I think I can handle it. Proceed. Thal's ball, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined, bloody city. God damned idiot. What do you think was going to happen? That you'd strike it rich and get cozy with the order? Well, the master of Ulda looked on. No one crosses the syndicate. The, the syndicate? Huh, finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy. Now you won't have to die alone. Oh, they they played him for a fool. O oh, mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself! These ain't, this ain't part of the plan. Bloody hells. Does Lord Lirano mean to kill us too? Uh, alright, who was that and, uh, why are we fighting the big elemental thing now? A clay golem, sorry. Okay, let's deal with this clay golem. I'm going to put on my box here. Don't die, don't die, don't die. You are strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Oh, 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 no, no, back up, back up. Oh, that part's gone. Done it. Okay, we've almost got it down though. Almost, almost. How do I, I remember how I, I thought it was just double clicking? I could be wrong. Impossible! Never has this golem been so sorely tested. See the black figure somewhere? Duty complete. Yay, I won. That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. Huh. I wonder what that was. But hey, I got to kill a golem. That was interesting. Oh, hey, it's what's-his-face. Damn, seems I've missed the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. Uh-oh, another vision. I would compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do justice. The songstress of Ulda herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I have oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Aye, and business is suffering for it. Bloody Almaja, what stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, my love? Are you coming, love? 
You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where is this marvel? Where in this marvel of the city might you lovely ladies be staying? Oh boy, this guy. <laughs> At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of an uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for that, don't we? Or do we not? What is that? Aye, this weakening of the Aetheric flow must surely be linked to Dolomon's descent. And of course, to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Lewis Axe will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment. The heck is that on his face? Truly a marvel of ingenuity. It it is this I could reach out and touch the aether. Oh, he carries it on his shoulder. Okay. It's like a mask thing that shows you the magic stuff. Time to focus. No more gallivanting around like before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree. Maybe... Parshan will know something of it. All right, learning a little bit more about the stories and the the beastmen are trying to summon a primal, and that's what they need the crystals for. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can we talk? Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest has already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there and on. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances. But every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might be simpler to just follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Fret softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly uh, sanctioned by Lord Lillariotio. Uh, I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultanas' em enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have a support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. Just just a nod. I shall accompany Winston as a man. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thangreed, a humble scholar surveying the flow of Aether and Thalaran. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope we next, uh, hope we next, hope when next we meet, it is under auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Oh boy. I like my hockey gloves. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have, never mind. Fare thee well.
It's a strange fellow, that one. Alright. Finish that mission. Surrounded by enemies again. Ooh, we got a... Event going on over here. What's this warm welcome? Fate joined. Um, ascend to search for the warm stones. A spriggan known to the north as Spitfire is terrorizing local small folk and hoarding precious ores and gems intent for sale of the Goldsmith Guild. Uh, give the crafty creature a good cuffin and send him on his way back home. Okay, let's let's give this a try. Take longer than I thought. I mean, I'm on a, I'm on a GPS spot. Cool, let's get out of the way there. Is somebody to come help me? Come and help me. That would be awesome. Yeah, thank you. What? Oh, you got a good. You got a cool armor choke while it's helping you fight? That's really awesome. Can I have it? Can I have it? I don't use my spinning attack because I don't want to get hit by the wall. Much easier for this fight in the wall. Someone else is coming in too. You have a cool Chocobo that's going to fight with you too? No? Okay. Choco Surge! Ah, I love that! Now I want a Chocobo one next. About halfway now. Learn how to dodge. I'm gonna be a tank and learn how to dodge, right? And yeah, Miguel, the combat noises are pretty, pretty awesome here. Got another way. Come back. Oh, oh, they didn't actually send them. I thought it was going to. Okay. Good fire's almost down, though. Come on, come on. Aha! Fate completed. Fate completed. Awesome. Ooh, that's a lot of experience there. <laughs> a whole 14 gil. That's okay, though. All right, let's sprint. I want to head that way. Actually, I might as well head back. Where I came from. All right, I like the, I like the day night cycle of this game too. Cause look at how beautiful that looks. The skybox looks good. Let's head back to the coffin. Coffer and coffin. It's a very interesting name for a place. I like it. Oh, I wonder what's going to be next in our little story thing here. Okay, let's talk with uh, Winston here. Little 12, bless you, my friend. You risk your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Uh, he owns the gods' damned brass blades. I should have shouldn't have, uh, should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have perceived that the wealthiest man in Old Isle would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sakes. The ruthless bastards... Uh, and want of the monstrosity, those were his own men. Uh, it beggars belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Olda any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, gods damn it, if Lolita learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part and it stays a secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of uh, Mistress... Uh, Mamandi. Uh, she's helped countless adventurers. Uh, in her time, mayhap she'll know what to do. Go now, quickly. Or quickly, or go quickly now, my friend. The spies may be watching. All right, so I gotta head back to the quicksand. But before I do that, I'm gonna head down here to this mission. 
and I need to do that for uh, Uldo's Most Wanted for that's um, my class quest so the blue ones there at the plus mark I'll learn more about being a guardian alright I'm going to do this mission here I'm level 12 leveling up got a little bit slower but that's actually good I don't mind that at all don't want to out level everything but I'm getting like ton of experience like every time I get experience tell me like I get an extra like hundred experience and stuff don't really know why but maybe it's an event or something going on oh here we go looking for this gutless gladiator what's going on don't kill me please I'm not the one you want uh, oh oh yeah these lancers let's take them down oh, back out of that Spin, spin, spin. Well, these, are, these guys are level 10. Oh, I'm level 12. It doesn't matter. I can take them on. Oh, you're down? <laughs> Literally, this is like take a step back and you're out of, like, out of combat. Probably something to help. Yeah, it could be something to help new players catch up. That makes sense. Alright. Speak with the Gutless Gladiator. Thank you, thank you. They, they appeared out of nowhere. Asked me if I was Aldous the Spearpoint. I said no, but they attacked me anyway. What, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, they're looking for the guy we saw at the Quicksand. Okay, the guy with the awesome looking sword. I wonder, does each class kind of have their own little story too? Because that'd be kind of fun. Kind of excited to learn how those go. All right, let's head back to the quicksand and then we need to head to um, the Coliseum to learn that stuff. Maybe we'll learn lots of new fun abilities. I'm excited to see how it goes. I wonder what this little little bean sprout thing above my head beside my name is <laughs> I like it settle down Ludith you've got nothing to worry about no one seems to know uh, you're at the ruins Wasting, on the other hand is now a pariah about as welcome round here as a rabid wolf poor buggerin buggerin uh, suffice to say that boy risks the wrath of the wrong man the lord chairman of the east Alderan uh, trading company. That's not all right, but don't worry. Uh, <laughs> a generous contributor to the order of uh, Nalthal, a member of the syndicate. Didn't go get where he was uh, by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they would have refused to do their benefactor's bidding. Ha. Huh. Don't let this color your view of Olda. Uh, Lunath, it's true that they are some of um it's true that there are some here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want but most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet you know a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man but i believe you did a good thing Ludith. and for that you have my respect listen i've been you've been through a lot lately won't you rest a spell i'll have the boys uh, at the hourglass, uh, set you up with a room. My treat. Just have a word with uh, Autopa, Potopa, whenever you feel like staying. In rooms now available. Ooh, what's an in room? What does this mean? Uh, when you've got your appetite for adventuring back, consider taking a taking on a guild level too. Uh, we've got a lot of requests for locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'll be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra gil. Uh, Usens can tell you more about how that system works, so go speak with him if you're interested. Guild levies now available. Cool. And... Uh, well, considering that hat's not good enough for me, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah! <laughs> you have access to Recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests and duties currently available in your area. 
The recommendations can uh, list can be opened uh, from under duty in the main menu uh, and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Oh, that's good. That actually makes things so much simpler. All right. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to talk to... Actually, let's... Recommendations. Let's see. Recommended duties. Let's me know what I should be doing. Good. Okay, cool. Um, talk, Taking what they're given. Uh, levels on horizon. Okay. So we kind of put some... If I click on it, it tells me where to go to get it. Okay, cool. Let's talk to the innkeeper here. Good morrow to you, adventurer. How may I serve you? Uh... Let's ask about the hourglass. Hourglass is only the most famous inn in the merchant strip. Uh, we have accommodations to satisfy every client's taste, from lavish suites to simple rooms. Per Mistress uh, Mamandi's request, you are free to enjoy our hospi hospitality at will. If you wish to rest, it would be my pleasure to show you to a room. Let's retire to a room. As you wish, right this way. What does this do? Oh, it actually takes us to a new area. Cool. What? What is this? Uh, it can be used to change the music in your state or in room, but only if you have first obtained song rolls. Rolls can be obtained through a variety of means, including synthesis, purchase at shops, and discovery. Okay. Signing an orchestrating will uh, accessing the orchestrating will open the setting interface. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Play only those obtained. I have not obtained any. Cool. Let's go change the music. Uh, what's a summoning bell? Retainers. Summoning bells are used to call forth any retainers you have in your employ. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to maintain items and gill, as well as place goods up for sale in the markets. Oh, like, are they like little companions? Cool. Once you have been given approval to hire retainers, speak with um, this person. Uh, okay, so I'm sure it'll be a while before I get those. You're not authorized to sentinel, uh, not authorized to summon an 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 atheistician. Okay, so I can't do that. What about a toy chest? Not locked any mini games. Glamour dresser, not locked a glamour dresser. Ooh, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, situated in your in room estate in squadron barracks. This can be used to store certain items. Oh, uh, oh, I have to be a hundred percent. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we can store items there. What is the unending journal? Okay, is that just... Oh, and you can replay... Is that what this does? Just plays cutscenes again? If you happen to forget something, which I probably will... Okay, so yeah, it just plays the cutscenes again. Cool, 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 cool. What's this? Okay. I like that. Okay, so you can replay cutscenes. That is actually going to be good for me trying to remember things. Uh, comfy feather bed. Uh, oh, and this is where I can log out. Okay, nothing. I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's head over here. Exit room. Okay, cool. So um, you kind of get your own little room thing like that uh, just by having it in. Awesome. But soon, soon I will like buy a house and it will be awesome and amazing. Uh, and then I needed to talk to this guy over here. He are going to teach me something. What are you going to teach me about? So Ustens uh, is, is responsible for assigning or ass yeah, assigning guild levies uh, at the quicksand. It is offered to give you an introduction to the world of uh, Lev quests. Ooh, I get new armor and stuff for that. Okay, so let's accept that. Ah, Linther. Mamandi, uh, said you might come. I take it you wish to undertake one of the many guild levies available here at the Adventurer's Guild? Guild levies, uh, are a means by which we document quests for assistance from the assistance from the citizenry. Prior to assigning them to adventurers possession, possessed of the necessary skills. Uh, from battlecraft levies that require the extermination of monsters to tradecraft levies 
uh, that ask for certain uh, uh, for the creation of goods. The tasks we term levy quests uh, are many and varied in their nature. Uh, should you uh, should your interest be equated, I suggest you make your way to Horizon and speak to the Tanwa. He will be happy to set your feet on the path to completely completing your first uh, level quest. Okay, cool. Quest accepted. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you here. You know, the, question, you know, the quicksand is a uh, word of work for a willing adventurer. Of course you do. Uh, look at the... Look at what the uh, coral dragged in. Good to see you, Luneth. I asked what brings you, but I reckon we both know the answer to that already. Well, have I ever let you down before? Wait, don't answer that. So happens I know a fellow by the name of Dadarin, uh, who needs a hand. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones uh, to those of Ulda with the means to buy him. Uh, he asked I send any any looking for work his way. Uh, you'll find him over in Horizon if you fancy. It's the in Western that land, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion. Cross and the road will take you there. Uh, knowing the circles he deals in might be he'll have some talk of the royal family that'll interest you as well. But why not make use of a chocobo porter to the and for the journey to Horizon? Uh, you've the guild for it, that is. You'll find the chocobo stable, stable just across the way from my quick stands. Uh, find uh, min, uh, Mimi Gun, uh, and he'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. Uh, haven't you got all? Haven't got all day to be holding your bloody hand. All right, so another quest there. So I got three quests going on right now at once. Oh, the quest all the time. So one of them is here. What's the most wanted? Yeah. And let's do that one first. Ruby Road Exchange. <laughs> like the mogul sounds. They're so cute. Alright. I think I'm going the right way here. Yes, yes. The heck? Going on here? I like how you guys are dressed. That's fun. Alright, let's head to the Coliseum. Haha, I found out how to get here. Excellent. Now I just gotta figure out how to get inside. Oh, it's over there. There we go. Finish off this quest. So, they were indeed the murderers we sought. But who brought Dusk Right freelancers all the way to from the, the Black Shroud? And why were they murdering and men with swords. First sword. What is it? Lancers, first sword. A gang of them. Uh, hidden in the tunnel south of Blackbrush Station. Hmm. It seems we've not got rid of them yet, uh, Luneth. We might as well finish what you started. Go to Central Thralan and dispatch the last of these freelancers. Bruce, accompany uh, Luneth. Uh, see that he doesn't die. Well, I can't keep that bloke from getting skewered, but I'll patch him up the best I can. Uh, Luneth, defend Bruce. He knows powerful healing magics, but he cannot uh, employ them unless you keep all your enemies occupied. Make sure you command their full attention at all times. Excellent. I am counting on you to keep those bastards away from me. Watch my back, and I'll watch yours. You have your orders, gladiators. See those freelancers to the seventh gate. All right. Got a new buddy. So we gotta head. Oh, and then I gotta head to the horizon. And then I also have to ambush those freelancers. Uh, yeah, let's just head this way. Figuring out where to go. Okay, where is. No, that's not what I wanna do. Uh, where are the freelancers? And where is Horizon? Okay, Horizon's here. Yeah, I'll go that way as I can. Oh, actually, let's use a... Um, I'm going to head back into town and use a porter. She mentioned that there's one in front of the quicksand. And maybe that'll take me there. That's what I need to do. You? Oh, you repair my armor. Thank you. 
I mean, you did it for a price, so really, you're doing a job. But thank you anyways. Thank you so much. All right, the quicksand is over here. So, oh, the, the port is over there. I'm going to ride in a chocobo. Oh, what does this move do? Okay, I don't know what that is. Something I'll find out later. I want to ride on a moogle. Moogle, moogle, moogle. No, wait, chocobo. <laughs> oh, you got a little uh, baby gremlin with you. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start collecting minis and and getting mounts. Oh my gosh, it be so much fun. Okay, so let's talk to the chocobo keeper. Let's rent a chocobo. Ooh, upon reaching level 10, you will be allowed to rent chocobos from stables across uh, Erosia. Chocobos can be used for steady transport to areas which uh, you are readily accessible via Ethernet are not readily accessible. While riding, you'll have to complete you'll have complete control of your chocobo until you either dismount, enter deep water, or are attacked, or the rental period ends. Oh, you can just rent them? Oh. Oh, you get them for 10 minutes. Um, no. Uh, let's do, let's hire the chocobo porter. Let's go to Horizon. It's gonna take us a minute and five gil. Yes. We're excited to see how this works. I'm gonna ride on a chocobo. Chocobo. Oh, I can dismount if I want to. Uh, no, I don't want to dismount. Why is this bar in the middle there? I don't like that. Put you over here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got like little armor things, a little, little hat. <laughs> oh, oh, it shows up here. I don't need to have it separate bar there. That's okay. I got my key stuff later. I'm mounted. I'm going level 70. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too heavy for you, little chocobo. Okay, I think I'm coming up on horizon here. Yep, I am. I'm surprised I can do this because I've never, I haven't been to horizon. They said I can only port to areas, or use a porter to areas I have been already. That's all right though. Bye chocobo, that was fun. Thank you for the ride. All right, let's uh, attune to this ethernet. Or etherate. There we go. <laughs> Um, and yeah, let's talk with, uh, you here. All right, Lunath, I presume. Ah, or I, Mamandi, said I said to expect you, and so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that sees goods in from the port of Vesper Bay to the west, and trade we do. Nary a day goes by that Horizon isn't bustling with some manner of merchants and officials. They keep us running in, uh, about or they keep us running about busy. They do enough so that I wish I had chocobo legs and place of my own, and that's why I've asked Mamandi to send me any souls looking for work. Twelve nil, there is plenty of it to be done around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make yourself of some use. Oh, okay. Let us complete this. Ooh, we get earth shards. That's a crafting catalyst. And some new pants. Let's grab some new pants. Bum, ba, da. Okay. Oh, and I leveled up too. Level 13. Let's uh, put those new pants on. Oh, just, cha just change the color of them. Ah, it's okay. Let's close that. Okay, uh, let's go talk with this guy to learn about those quest things. Uh, a fine morning to you, adventurer. My name's uh, Toto Noah, and I am in charge of assessing, uh, assigning local level quests here at Horizon. Uh, you have come to the behest of 
Uh, Ustens, have you? Excellent. Allow me to set up your first task. Uh, it shall be a simple one, mind you. Before I can permit you to undertake official duties, it is essential that you prove yourself of sound body and mind. Take a moment to review the tasks outlined uh, in the skill levy. Uh, do you believe it within your capabilities? Let's see. Uh, accepting guild levy. So speaking with the local distributor, uh, we'll begin a list of... We'll bring up a list of uh, available level quests. Uh, highlight the level quests displayed and select accept. Uh, required to... Level allowances are required to accept uh, levy quests. Uh, you can be granted three levy allowances for every 12 hours earth time up to a maximum of 100. Huh? You may also accept as many as 16 of them as once. Granted three. Okay. Oh, oh, is it like it, it constantly every hour I get more? Is that how it works? I'm not sure exactly. Um, it is well documented fact that uh, proceeds uh, prefer um, laugh a little meat than that of other of the other four races. Uh, various opinions on the reason behind this have been long debated, uh, but the most widely accepted uh, being that the squat. <laughs> Uh, build of them makes them easier to swallow whole. Seeing that the majority of Ulda's population is made up of them, uh, this makes the hills of Thalaland a perfect uh, feeding ground for the giant Skelkin. And this is why the Brass Blades are constantly seeking volunteers to travel to the hills and slay these creatures before they find their next meal. So report to Western Thalaland. Um, time limit? Oh, there's a time limit for it. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now then. So let's decline that. Just because there's a time limit, so I'm not going to do that one right now. So we'll do that one later. I'm going to talk to you then. So he wants us to deliver a message to the Copper Bell Mines. It just so happens that I have a situation that must be resolved post haste. And I do mean post haste. Uh, I'm plumb out of premium product, and my latest order is yet to arri arrive. If I keep my customers waiting any longer, this could irrelevant. It could damage my reputation. <laughs> What's worse, I paid my man in advance for his services. Despite his assurance that it would be a simple affair, I've heard nothing since he departed for Copper Bell Mines days ago. Find Drunken Stag and give him this notice. I can't afford any further delay. All right, let's go find him. Hit that button here. Where is he? Oh, right over there. Didn't go. Didn't go very far at all. All right, it's kind of cool. So we can hire. I can hire a mount. But I don't have a mount of my own yet. Soon, soon I will get a mount. And it will be awesome. Ooh, I'm in a new area too. Maybe there are more creatures I need to slay. What are you? Apparently I joined a fate. What's this fate? Okay, let's take these guys out. Let's help out. Dogs roam the desert. Okay, so it's just the dogs I need to take out. Good to know. Well, I don't know anyways, get you here. Come on, come on. Whoop. Kind of a interesting look for that spell. Get her down. Just dusty mongrels I need. You. Actually, I haven't been paying attention about if that bar is going up or not. Can I take it out? Okay, it does a little bit. Okay, good. <laughs> 
Go. I want the experience from the space and the guild. Definitely need to, to do more uh, missions to get guild. I'm sure that'll come with uh, come with time. Oh, I don't like the noise I make when I kill them. Though. That is one thing I don't like about killing any dogs in games is the noises. All right. Rampart went away. That's okay. Get my fight or flight. Need do more damage there. Finish this quest. This, sorry, this fate. Any more dogs. There we go. Dusty mongrel. Yeah, definitely am uh, not taking a lot of damage from these guys at all. Oh, you want to fight too? Oh, fate completed! Yay, you get the 3,000 experience. And some gill. Yeah, yeah, Miguel, not pleasant, not pleasant at all. It, it's really any any dogs in games in general. Considering I love, I love puppies, so... Oh, am I paralyzed? Yes, I am, paralyzed. Paralyzed. Sense for that. This guy's actual name is Drunken Stag. Yeah, that's a guy I wouldn't trust uh, to bring me items on time. <laughs> All right, let's talk with you. Uh, what do you want? Hmm. His product? Yes, please. He can send all the notices he likes, but it won't change a thing. The concern has closed the mines due to some incident in the depths. It's a god's darn shame, too. Lots of decent haul just over yonder during the, all the chaos. Oh, okay. Let's grab that I can sell later. Alright, Drunken Stag needs someone to retrieve the raw uh, Nasherite he dropped outside the mines. The product uh, you heard him going on about is a valuable gemstone known as Nasherite. Uh, I managed to dig up a godly or a goodly amount just before the mines were closed off, actually. Packed it up and hauled it over, but even uh, to hauled it out even. Uh, but then the 12 damned uh, goblins came along uh, not like any cobblets seen before they're hungry only for the good rocks they had an eye for my gemstones so i had no choice but to oblige the stone torches had their hands full evacuating the mines so they ignored the beasts even now they're only concerned with keeping people out please friend if you're willing to face the cobblins uh would you bring me uh my nasherite yes i will let's go inside let's deal with these guys oh level 11 bomb uh, do they still blow up like they normally do in Final Fantasy? Let's find out. Do they get bigger? Ooh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, they do. Come on, take it out, take it out. There we go. Haha, I win. Alright. Uh... Oh, I gotta take out the. Oh, I gotta pick it up. Okay, so I don't actually have to take it. From the game, I to pick it up. From the copper cobblers. Alright, I'm do a lot of damage there. Let's keep me honest, though. So. Okay. Grab some ore. Oh, oh. What? Oh, it's for a quest. Okay, that's what it is. I'm like, oh, wait, do I have a hunting thing tonight? Gosh, these guys are creepy like. Ooh, they're so creepy looking. Alright. Take you down anyway, because you're here! Haha! -ha. Done you before you can do that attack? Yes, I can. I like that. Well, I really wish like all my abilities weren't on the, the same cooldown, because then I could, you know, save up my shield bash 
for for when they were about to do an attack. This is a cobbler. There we go, shield bash. Think I'm learning how this game works. Okay, now I need one more. A big bomb there. I like how the creatures won't attack you unless you attack them though. That's always good. At least in this area. I'm sure that'll change later on. Different ability before I smash one. There we go. Is that all of them? Haha! -ha. I'm glad you guys were helping. <laughs> kind of just standing there. Oh, is that a. That's a dungeon! Ooh. How does that work? Oh, I'm gonna go talk to this guy first. I don't wanna. I kinda wanna learn how dungeons work. I wonder if there's, um. A dungeon finder kind of cue thing, or if you have to actually go in with a group, or if there's a story wo story way to do it first. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh. So, how did you fare, friend? Did you find the raw Nazarite? I did. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Rarer than most stones, and most expensive than what? More expensive than most. They say the green is the same as the eyes of Nashua Ul Nasha, one who ruled as a sultana. Uh, this should save. Save him from his troubles, uh, but if that's uh, if there's enough, if there's enough left, that's far less here than what I found. I reckon those uh, cobblins made a meal of the stuff, bloody waste. All right, so I get some potion, some gill, ooh, a lot of gill, and some experience. Excellent, excellent. Now what do you want? Wishes to repay your kindness with some useful information. What the what? You're being carried around by bombs? Um. If you'd like a chance to make some money, right? I know just how I can repay your kindness. Uh, swarms of sun midgets, uh, or midge, mids, have been harassing travelers along the road, uh, connecting horizon to here. It's gotten so bad that the brass blades have started paying folks to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny uh, mids have been so troublesome, uh, then you've never seen a chocobo driven into a frenzy by one. They've already seen some terrible accidents. Uh, do your part and slay a few swarms after that. Let uh, Fufulopa know he'll reward you with your trouble and maybe even offer you more work. Oh, cool. Now I just want to head in and see this dungeon thing, though. See what that's all about. That must be, like, no entry. That's a giant bomb. Look how, I guess it's not as big, but still giant. Nah, I want a chocobo that fights with me. Uh, how are you enjoying the life of adventurer? The people of Ar Arosia are beset by troubles, both mundane and de deadly, and there are many who would become or would welcome a helping hand from a stalwart hero. But should you yourself ever need help in your travels, do not forget to seek the advice of a mentor or fellow adventurers. They were all once in your position. Okay. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Uh, do you guys... What? We stone torchers are in charge of security within Copperville mines. Access is restricted until we can better assess what exactly has transpired here. Only those who express permission with express permission may enter. To enter our uh, Copperville mines, you must have made sufficient progress in the quest into the Copper Hall. I don't have that quest at all. So eventually, essentially, I have to do a quest before I can unlock that. Cool. 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 Ooh, here's a swarm I need to kill right here. Actually, face it. There we go. Deal with the swarms. Bam. One down. Only three more to go. I think there. Yeah, there's some right over here. So I'm gonna deal with those guys.
I need more of them to fight. I don't see any around here. Oh, there's one. They pop up on the map, so... <laughs> they pop up on the map. That That's very convenient, actually. I really like that. here. Take them out. <laughs> well, you're just literally like slicing into air and hoping you hit some. At that point. Hoping you hit enough to, to make them disperse. But for some reason they all die at the same time. <laughs> right. Like uh, during the summer the bunch of flies out. Or like little, little, little teeny ones. You just swipe your hands with them, and they do that little swarm thing. All right, cool. Okay, take them out. That's four of them. And okay, we're done that. So let's sprint, running, 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 running. Ooh, I like your little thing going around your body there. That's kind of cool. Am I gonna talk to you here? Okay, you over here. What's the plan? Uh, greetings and salutations, adventurer. Uh, to what do I owe this? What? You've slain how many swarms of sun midges? Uh, you have my sincerest thanks. The brass blades have been struggling to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. Will you be staying in Horizon Long? If so, there is much more uh, you can do to help here. All right, yay! Quest completed! And I leveled up! Did I need a new ability? No, I did not! That's okay. Hit level 14. Oh my gosh. I'm... Oh my gosh, I'm having a blast with my hockey clubs. <laughs> my total mishmash uh, of armor. <laughs> I love it. But uh, I do have to take off now, so thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. Uh, this has been a blast so far. Uh, it's been a great deal of fun. I definitely can't wait to play some more Final Fantasy XIV. If you guys have any uh, tips and stuff like that, uh, please let me know. There's also a Discord for the channel, uh, a link in the description and all that fun jazz. But thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. Been having a blast. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, more Final Fantasy XIV to come. Uh, having, having so much fun with it. Thank you guys so, so very much. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.